Hey YouTubers, I chip at 45 LC here today at the bench. Gonna take y'all through uh, disassembly of a single action revolver. This is a HS single action revolver. It's a chambered in 22 long rifle and 22 magnum. The original instruction sheet that came with this. This gun was uh, made back in the 60s. Like I said, it's a 22 long rifle. Also has a 22 mag cylinder with it as well. But today, like I said, I'm going to take you all through the disassembly of a single action revolver. So, let me get me some screwdrivers here real quick. So, first thing we're going to do, as you do with any firearm, safety check this. And there's nothing in it. So next I'm going to push this release pin here and pull out our rod for our cylinder. Cylinder pops out. There you go, it's empty. Place that over there for the moment. I will not uh, take down the extractor rod, uh, but it's just one screw here and then seats into a little pocket here. But I will take apart these. These are there's five screws on this particular revolver as with most single actions let's get this in here so I remove these three screws might want to keep these separated from everything else I mean or at least lay these out in a pattern so when you take them apart you can get them back together so there's those three screws got them in a little group there now we got the two on the back of the grip here Set that up here, but in its own little group, because I'm going to put this second screw here. So you may want to keep a little pressure here. There is a spring right here, so there is spring tension. So when I remove this last screw, stuff could go everywhere. So I just grip the gun like so. So when it, I get this last screw out. Okay. and then you just release your grip a little bit and your whole grip and trigger guard assembly comes off there is one spring inside the grip but I'm not going to do anything to that so I'm not going to take that apart but I do have to take everything else out so here's the spring I was telling you about right here pull that out there's also a little and that's what holds your uh, loading gate in there's a little pin in, inside this hole that the spring is in and your loading gate goes in this hole here slip that back in real quick so the loading gates here this spring goes in this hole like I said and there's a, a little pin 
been cantankerous and doesn't want to come out and then the loading gate just slips off like so let's see if I can get that sucker to come out of there it just doesn't want to oh well it'll fall out here in a minute so now I'm going to take the trigger off that's done with this big screw here in the back okay that up there now we're going to take this uh, trigger screw out. This trigger screw goes through the trigger, through the paw. So it, it holds the paw in as, uh, as well. So, tell you what, before we take the trigger out, let's take this uh, paw spring out. get this spring out so that's the spring that activates the paw so now I want to take this trigger screw out the paw and the hammer should come out or should I say cylinder retainer is what that was. So I pull this screw out, trigger comes out, there's the cylinder stop. Okay, so now rotate this around and it should slip right out. So that's what pushes your cylinder around and your hammer. Okay. So, we now have one disassembled single action firearm. whole reason I got to do this is I need to adjust the spring tension here a little bit on the spring. Didn't need to take it all apart to do that, but wanted to take you all through the, the steps and the process. So, we'll go back, put this back together. So, this is your paw that turns your cylinder. And there's a little groove that it fits in. And there's a spring on the back of it. So, you kind of got to depress the spring, put that in like so. And take your hammer and put it on like so. And then you can slide that down into place. To where you see that before I do that I just noticed something okay all right that cleaned up so and put the paw in and the hammer goes on like so and then it goes right into place like that pull that back out for a second I, that thing not wanting to fall out of there is bugging me a little okay so this is the little pin that goes in that hole right here on the frame 
that is held down by the spring and holds the loading gate in place. So I got all that done. So now to put it back together. Take the paw, put it in there like so. Your hammer on like so. The paw slipped out. So now the paw and the hammer are somewhat in place. Now that we got that. Let's see when we get this screw in. We won't tighten down any of these screws just yet. Just want to get them in place to hold stuff in while we put the rest of it together. So, and also kind of function test. So, see when you pull the hammer back, paw comes up, turns the cylinder. Okay, so we got that in the right place. Now we're going to take our trigger screw, and this part's a little tricky. Just because there's one screw and it goes through several parts. So what I like to do is get the trigger and the spring and the screw and get them lined up here. Okay, so now the trigger's on. Kind of hold it in the forward position, back the screw out to where it's just inside the trigger, like so. Then you're going to slip this cylinder stop down in beside the trigger. And it goes through the cylinder stop. And once you get it through the cylinder stop, go ahead and start that screw. So now the cylinder stop is in, triggers in, paw, hammer. Now we're going to put the cylinder stop spring back in place. It's held together with this one screw right here. We'll go ahead and tighten this one down because we're done right here. Okay, so now you can basically function test this weapon. So at half cock, the cylinder stop is down. Pull cock, cylinder stop is up, pull the trigger, hammer comes up. So we got everything in, everything in place, so let's go ahead and lock these two down. This is the hammer screw. Okay, now we're going to do this trigger screw. Okay, so now everything is locked down into place. Now we'll uh, start back with the rest of the gun. So take this loading gate, slip that pin into the hole like so. Take this little pin here, put the round side down, drop it in the hole, drop the spring in behind it. So now we'll put on the trigger guard and housing. So we'll have to compress that spring. 
as we put this down. So I like to get these back two started. Like so. Just get them started. You don't want to lock it down yet. Put the front trigger guard screw in. I'll go ahead and snug this up. And I'll come back here to these. I'll go ahead and snug these. We're not going to tighten them down. We're just going to snug them up. So now our spring is compressed and holding the pin for our loading gate. Okay, so now we got to put these grip screws in. And the reason these grip screws are last is because of the spring on this side that keeps tension on it. And as long as there's tension uh, and a gap you can't get these screws in so you go ahead and close your gap on your frame and your trigger guard and then these screws go right in so we'll go ahead and lock this down now okay that one's locked down let's go ahead and lock these under here down Okay, make sure everything's tight. Okay, so now we have everything back together and we can function check it. So, quarter cock, the cylinder stop is down. As you cock it, paw comes up, turns the cylinder. Pull the trigger, hammer comes down. Okay, so open up the loading gate. Slip the cylinder in, put this on quarter cock. So our cylinder stop is down and we can turn the cylinder. Because you gotta gotta jiggle these into place sometimes. They are very tight. And I still have the issue. So, uh, the issue is that I'm having with this, and I need to adjust a little more. Uh, is when you quarter cock it, the cylinder stops not all the way down so you can't turn the cylinder. But anyway, that's a quick uh, how to, how to disassemble and reassemble a single action revolver. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.